Hello, hi, happy October. It's October. It's basically Halloween, right? I mean, I view every day in October as just Halloween because it just, it makes me feel better. Um, I love Halloween so much. I haven't filmed in like a month and I apologize for that, but I was reading a lot of books that I wanted to then review for October. So I decided to take a month off and read focused in reading and then come back here in October and review all of the horror books that I read and I read quite a few and I'm going to be reading more to then review but so far I have six books that I have for sure will be uploaded to this channel to be reviewed that are horror thriller based I think maybe I'll throw in some sort of psychological stuff or who knows what I'm not sure but I've read quite a bit and you could look at my goodreads to see what I will be reviewing but don't spoil it yourself let this be a surprise um so I'm really excited for this month. I'm excited for all the reviews, but my first review for today is going to be on I Am Legend by Richard Matheson. This was such an incredible story. I love this so much. If you haven't read this, but you've seen some of the adaptions that have been from this, um, just, just read the book instead, or at least, you know, pick up the book because it's just, it's so good, and none of the adaptions really do the book justice. They just... Uh, I mean, Will Smith, you know, brought to life this character that was fine, but just they, they never keep the story the way it should be because there are some critical things that happen that I'll get into in the review, but blah 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 blah. Okay, first, before we get into the book review, let's talk a little bit about Richard Matheson because he's really, uh, he's just an interesting person that I, you know, learned some stuff and I want to share them with you. Uh, Richard Matheson is a very uh, influential writer to a lot of people. Um, he has influenced so, so much, whether that be the vampire and zombie sort of genre for the modern stuff that you see today. Um, you know, I say zombie even though that this book is vampire focused. A lot of the characteristics of the vampires in I Am Legend have this sort of zombie feel, so he's definitely influential in that way and Stephen King even credits Matheson as being one of his one of his inspirations for the writer that he is today so I just think that's so so interesting and just uh Richard Matheson and he's also really well known for being the writer that really kind of like popularized this idea of a sort of apocalypse that's due to a disease or whatnot and that's just so cool uh Richard Matheson from what I know about him I believe he was born around the 1920s and he passed away in 2013-ish I believe and uh, from what I know of Richard Matheson he first published his short story at the age of eight in a newspaper which is just so cool it's just so cool um, he is most well known obviously for his uh, short stories and his novels he's also a screenwriter he wrote so many episodes of the Twilight Zone did you know that I love the Twilight Zone I didn't know he wrote some of the episodes that's just so cool um, so yeah I just wanted to share some of those uh, facts with you now I hope you are interested in reading his books because I've only read I'm legend but I really want to read Hell House next as well as I don't know whatever else he has out that I could read you know uh, anyway on to the book I am legend is obviously a post-apocalyptic story that is about uh, this the you know vampires have taken over and we follow our main character his name is Neville and he believes that he is the last man on earth that is a human and he lives alone in his home by day he goes out into the world and slays some vampires and kills them with stakes and whatnot and then at night he bunkers down in his home and he you know protects his house with garlic and whatnot because the vampires in this book don't like garlic and they uh, they can be killed by a stake and so he just lives in his home at night protected and he drinks a lot he just drinks his life away because uh, before the apocalypse he lost his wife he lost his daughter he's lost everything so it's a very very sad tone of a story but it's beautifully beautifully written and it's just such Ah, it's so good. I was just floored page by page because Richard Matheson is able to tell this 
huge, huge story from such a small viewpoint, really. You know, he tells the big by showing you just so little and I just, I love that about the story so much because it's the way that the vampires are described, the interactions between Neville and these characters, uh, these vampires, is just so intriguing and the way that Neville goes goes about his day by day, you, you would think it would be boring but it's just so fascinating to read about his day as he's just trying to do the the little things in order to survive and I found that to be just a compelling read in and of itself. Um, all of the way the way that the vampires are written is is very interesting because they're, they're spooky but at the same time there's something about them that you just can't help but keep wondering about. There's something kind of off about them that you then later find out about in the book and I don't really want to talk about that because spoilers though I do want to get into spoilers at the end of the video. I'll let you know when I start talking about the spoilers in case you don't want to be spoiled. Um, I just think that this is just such a well-written story and I think that the title of this book does this book so much uh, just like once you realize the title of this book and you see how things kind of click it just it kind of blows your mind in a way because with this story you see our main character as he views himself kind of so isolated so alone and he's so in a way terrified and frightened by these creatures but at the same time he is trying to find a cure you know he's not a scientist he's not you know that intelligent enough to find a cure. He doesn't know everything but he does his best to research in libraries and find out little things that maybe can help him along the way to kind of to cure these vampires and maybe turn them back into humans and that's kind of his like goal on the side and it's so fascinating because he sees these things as monsters and at the end of the story when maybe perhaps things kind of flip and you know it's interesting how you yourself can view something else as a monster, but what if that monster that you think is a monster views you as the monster? And that's as far as I'm going to say with spoilers. I don't want to say anything else, but it's just such an amazing story. I highly recommend it. It's just so good. Um, one thing I do want to say, if you read this book, just if you don't like reading about animals, animals that Th when things happen to animals, that's all I'll say. It's just so sad. Our main character forms a bond with a dog and it's just so beautiful to read about because the dog doesn't really trust Neville in the beginning and then you can see their interaction and you can see the dog at one point looks hurt and he tries to help the dog and then it doesn't end well for the dog of course. Um, I feel like like why do authors do that? Why do you hurt the dog? Why do you even bring the dog in just to break our hearts? Because I don't like it. I wanted to cry. I wanted to cry. I just don't like reading about animals getting hurt. It just hurts me inside and I don't like that. Anyway, that's that's my only gripe with this book and I just want to let you know that if you can't read stuff like that because that's definitely something that gets to me. So just be wary of that, okay? I'm just gonna throw it out there. If you've seen any of the adaptions like the Will Smith one then you know. You know. Um, but yeah, I recommend this book so like I can't even tell you how much I recommend this book. It's just so good. It's not that long too. It's really really short. It's really short. Um, yeah, I think that's all I want to say, but before I want to go, I do want to talk about a little bit of spoilers, which I don't really do, but I just really need to talk about this because it just kind of, well, it's not even really a plot twist, it's just the ending. The ending is just, oh, it's is it a masterpiece? Should I say masterpiece? I don't know. I don't know, but it's just really good. Okay, we're getting into spoilers, right? So if you don't want spoilers, get out of here. Um, the ending with the fact that the vampires are actually intelligent and that the vampires view our main character as the monster. He's actually the monster all along. He's this legend to the vampires because he kills them all and these vampires have these, they're, they're, they have families, they have friends, and then he kills them by day and they just, they don't, it, it's just, oh, I don't want to say anything more than that because if you're here and you just want to be spoiled, that's what happens and it's just really interesting, the perspective, right? Because normally you don't see that point of view from a vampire. I mean, I'm sure there are other books out there that do that, but at the same time, written at this time to then inspire others. I could see that. Anyway, I'm rambling. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. I just really like this book and I love the ending. The ending was so good. It just wrapped the title together beautifully. Beautifully. Uh, uh, one of my new favorites, honestly. So if you haven't read this, like I said, do yourself a favor. Favor. 
I can't speak today. I can never really speak, honestly. Uh, that's my review for I Am Legend by Richard Matheson, a classic that you need to read. Go do that right now. Anyway, I'll see you in a couple days with another review for something. You'll find out later. Bye!